As interesting as benzene is, most aromatic compounds of interest bear substituents connected to the benzene ring. And these substituted benzenes are the focus of this lesson. We're going to begin by taking a look at some nomenclature that's used to represent the different possible relationships between two substituents connected to a benzene ring. And from there, we're going to explore how the nature of a substituent can affect the electronic situation within the ring. There are substituents that can either donate or withdraw electrons. Those that donate electrons make the ring itself more electron-rich and a better nucleophile or Lewis base. Those that withdraw electrons remove electron density from the ring and make the ring a better electrophile or Lewis acid. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to recognize electron donating and withdrawing groups with ease and hopefully assess the relative strengths of electron donating and withdrawing groups using very intuitive ideas that we've seen already. Really what you're going to see here is an extension of the idea of electron donating and withdrawing groups that we've already seen in the lesson on delocalized pi systems. There are only three unique ways in which two substituents can be arranged around the carbons of a benzene ring. They can either be in a 1-2 relationship, as I've drawn here, a 1-3 relationship, as I'm drawing here, or a 1-4 relationship, as we're seeing here. Different terms are used to represent these different isomers of a disubstituted or polysubstituted benzene, and we use these same terms to refer to positions relative to a substituent. And so there's a name for the position right next to a substituent, there's a name for the position two carbons away, and a name for the position three carbons away, and the same terms are used in both cases. The terms we use for this situation are ortho, meta, and para. Ortho essentially refers to the two position relative to a substituent, meta to the three position, and para to the four position. So for instance, in this hypothetical generic substituted benzene, there are two ortho positions that I'm highlighting in blue, and these are both one carbon away from the carbon bearing the substituent. There are also two meta positions located two carbons away from where the substituent is located. And finally, there's one para position on the opposite side of the benzene from the R group, and this is located at the 4 position. We can also use the terms ortho, meta, and para to refer to the relationship between two identical or different substituents in a disubstituted benzene. For example, in the molecule shown here, the substituents R and R prime are connected to carbons that are themselves directly connected. This means that they share a 1 2 relationship. If we arbitrarily call the carbon connected to the R group carbon 1, the carbon connected to R prime is carbon 2. The more traditional term for this relationship is an ortho relationship between the substituents. We would also say that this is an ortho disubstituted benzene. In this second case, in this second case, the carbon bearing R prime is now at the 3 carbon relative to the carbon bearing the R group. This 1-3 relationship between R and R prime is referred to as a meta relationship, and we say that the compound shown is a meta disubstituted benzene. Finally, in this last case, we find that the carbon bearing R prime is located at the 4 position relative to the carbon bearing R. This is a para relationship between the substituents R and R prime, and we say that this molecule is a para disubstituted benzene. One last thing that's important to consider before leaving ortho, meta, and para is the relative steric environments of the three different positions. Let's look at each in turn. Well, first I'm highlighting the ortho positions in blue. How do these look sterically? Well, they're the closest positions to the R group, which is going to have some amount of steric bulk. For that reason, we can conclude that the two ortho positions are the most hindered in a monosubstituted benzene like this. They experience the most hindrance due to their proximity to the substituent. The second most hindered positions are the meta positions. They're separated from the substituent by the ortho carbons, but for a large R group, they may experience some steric hindrance. Finally, the para position is the least hindered of all. And this is because it's on the opposite side of the substituted benzene from the R group. So in essence, it doesn't even really know that the substituent is there in a steric sense. It doesn't experience any hindrance whatsoever from the substituent. This steric difference, especially between the ortho and para positions, is going to become important later when we explore reactions of substituted aromatics, because we're going to encounter reactions in which reaction at either the ortho positions or the para position is favored by the nature of the substituent. The fact that the para position is relatively unhindered is going to mean that the para product will be the major product in reactions of this type. 